On a whim, I decided to try kayaking for the very first time. My friend Van and I signed up for a kayak tour with this outdoor recreational company called... Wait, before I say the name, how would you pronounce it? It's not Ray, as in Ray from the recent Star Wars trilogy, or a ray of sunshine. Oh, no, no, no. Admittedly, it's my mom, who I've mostly heard this from. But anyway, just spell it out. This is the way. R E I. Say it with me. And Mr. Mandalorian. R E I. But seriously though, I love REI as a company. There's this camaraderie that is shared between REI staff and customers who enjoy the wilderness. Are you a hiker, biker, camper, climber, and so on? REI is for you. Even if you want to dare to try something new like I did. FYI, they are based out of Washington State, which is, of course, one of the most nature-centric areas of the U.S. Ah them good Pacific Northwest vibes. Anyway, let's go back to the desert. This was a two-hour kayak tour with Ray, I mean REI, Ugh, excuse me, at Lake Pleasant, just north of Phoenix, Arizona. Yes, yes, I kayaked in the desert. What's new? Hashtag just desert things. When we arrived 10 minutes late, I had no time to prepare for my answer to REI's burning question. Just what is my water spirit animal? I had to think fast. Well, my mind just went to the turtle ducks from the show Avatar The Last Airbender and Psyduck from Pokemon. And those build creatures somehow made me blurt out a platypus. Well, that surely got some super excitable responses from everybody. Well then, Time to channel my inner platypus that I never knew I had. Thank goodness, REI guy Noel attached my waist strap for my 360 camera to the kayak. But it's just too bad that the mounted camera setup got me far behind from the rest of the group, led by REI guy Danny. Platypus powers activate! It doesn't matter. If I never kayaked before, I got a paddle like mad. Look, I was a first-time kayaker, but I got the hang of kayaking very quickly. So if you happen to watch this video and you want to try kayaking for yourself, go for it! Let me try to describe kayaking in all honesty. Oh my god, it is so freeing. Feel the wind brushing your face. There's a sense of confidence and control as you're powering the kayak with your own body. You command where to go and how fast. I never felt so in control on a body of water before. It just came naturally to me. I know I'm getting all otherworldly coming up, but it's like I understood the kayak and the kayak understood me. We became one. We were not separate entities. The kayak and paddle were extensions of my body. Yes, I dare say, Dave became a part of me. Hey, it was also a good and fun exercise, and you got that peaceful immersion with nature. When I was paddling fast to catch up, I was alone with no people nearby, but I never really felt alone. Each breath was closing in my connection with the natural world. We are one. This lake, this earth, your favorite kayaking platypus. Say yay yay! If that doesn't convince you to try kayaking, I don't know what will. How does one learn to kayak? You just do it. You just start. Could I explain in words? Maybe. Just hold the paddle with both hands and move your hands in circular motions with one end of the paddle in the water for every stroke. To turn, you just paddle on one side of the kayak you could get a bit wet from the water drops from the paddle, or maybe you could have an accident and tumble right in the water. It didn't happen to this platypus. So what should I tell you about Lake Pleasant? Well, it's a lake. It's a pleasant one. Again, what can I say? Alright, here's more. There's a dam called 
Carl Pleasant, and this lake exists because of it. So it supplies the Phoenix people the water they need. Play it, then use it. Not bad. Here at the lake, you can do your typical water sports. Bring your boat out or hike on the land. You'll see vast mountain ranges, different desert plant species, including some cactus, and maybe you'll be lucky enough to get some animal sightings. The only time I ever saw a rattlesnake in the wild was right here at Lake Pleasant on a hiking trail. Now, isn't that just pleasant? For you Global Leadership Retreat folks wondering, yes, I saw the Desert Outdoor Center from the water. For everybody else, no worries, I'm gonna explain. So, the Maricopa Community Colleges District, located in the Valley of Phoenix, Arizona, plans a yearly weekend retreat for domestic and international students at Lake Pleasant's indoor venue. People come home from the retreat with a much stronger global mindset. I've been there twice, once as a student and the second time as a peer leader. The third time I've been at this lake, I'm here as a platypus with a kayak. What a change! When the hour and a half ended, I did not want to get out of the kayak back to the shore. I lingered in there as long as I could, and when I left Lake Pleasant, well, I left my platypus self there. When I will return next time to a body of water, I know it'll be there waiting for me. What is your water spirit animal? Comment below. Even if you've never tried kayaking before, or maybe you did other water sports, I know that your spirit animal is somewhere out there waiting for you to wake it up. Platypuses and aquatic animals everywhere unite! You just watched the first video of Newborn in a New Place. Thank you so much! Please subscribe and also hit the bell button to get notifications. Please like this video and comment below with your water spirit animal and any feedback or suggestions. I'm also on Instagram.